Well, Craig, how are you assessing things then here now you've joined Doncaster? How have you found life since you've arrived? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it, to be fair. The lads have been really welcoming and, and it's obviously nice to come into a gaffer that I already know, so I know what to expect, so it's been good so far. How big of a factor was that then, knowing Darren Ferguson? Yeah, massive for me, I think, because obviously, like you say, I knew what he wanted and I knew what I was coming into, um, so it was a big appeal to me and the fact that I knew a few of the lads here already, I had good reports from Butts and stuff like that as well, so no, it was a no-brainer really when I heard they were interested. It didn't mean need much selling then, I guess? No, I think at the end of the day, we all footballers want to play football, and if it was an opportunity to enhance that, then that's great, and obviously hopefully I can do well for Doncaster. How important was it then for you to get out and get some love and football, because chances were limited, weren't they, at Bramall Lane? Uh, yeah, because I, I just got injured at the wrong times, unfortunately, yeah. that's what happened, um, but that's football, you have to pick yourself up and get on with it. Um, whatever is my sort of negative is someone else's game but from my point of view it was yeah just a case of coming out getting some games and doing well for Doncaster it's a difficult one that isn't it when a new manager comes in and you're picking up injuries and you're having to try and force your way into the side it must be a difficult situation to find yourself in <laughs> yeah it's, it's not nice because like I say every footballer wants to play but I was well fortunate enough I've done well under I had a good relationship with Nigel Atkins and got well got in funny enough played against Doncaster and that was when I got injured but <laughs> there we go and you just crack on and just get on with it really